Welcome everyone to this special edition of the EWA and we have a four on four elimination match. On the one side we got Chase Rollins currently in the ring, Saul Esparza, Eel O'Neal, and Jacob Jett. On the other side in the ring right now is TJ Sykes who actually, he makes the tag to Rico Hendricks. And uh, his partners for this evening are Nightmare and Joey Ibanez. So right now we got Mason Xavier in the ring with Chase, EWA Hall of Legends member Chase Rollins. They lock up inside the center of the ring. Rico has a side headlock. He's going through this a special elimination match to celebrate the uh, Thanksgiving Spectacular. It's a Survivor Series style match we have going on. And this was filmed in November 2019 for any cop callers out there. Chase Rollins send into the ropes, drop down with a nice shoulder tackle. Rico, D Rico Hendricks back into the ropes, comes back, hip toss by Chase Rollins. That's what got him in the Hall of Legends right there. Rico Hendricks has had enough. He tags in the big man Nightmare. So we got the EWA Warehouse Wars champion Jacob Jett in the ring, squaring up with Nightmare. Nightmare has the size advantage for sure, but Jacob Jett has the heart and the desire and the speed. Comes in, oh, not gonna get him. That's too much of a big, too big of a man to try to get down that way. Nightmare tosses him to the side. Backs him into his own corner, says, come on, come at me, try it. Oh, but we have a Jacob Chez out there, and Neil O'Neill's in. Joey Avenez makes the tag as well. We got a lock up center of the ring. Working back, I'm in the nice arm. Oh. So take over, got a pinning position. One, two, any oh, I got him into reversal. One, two. Excellent looking referee right there. Right on point. Coming arm ringer. O'Neal with the reversal coming out. Back around. Sends him, in, sends him into the corner. Oh, it makes the tag to Solo Sparza. Oh, it gets him in the corner. Wait, Chase Rollins is in the ring. Oh, do we have a train going on? What is this ref doing? Get them, get some order in this ring. Solo Sparza with a big elbow in the corner. Joe Abinez might be done for. Got him down for the count. One, two, he got, no he didn't. It's just a two count. Oh, nice forearm shiver to the neck. Solo Sparza comes back with a kick. Backs him up into the corner with, wait, is he calling for another train? He makes the tag to Chase Rollins, but Neil O'Neill is in the ring. What is going on here? What is the ref doing? Get some order in this. Chase Rollins makes the big, oops. Rico Hendricks pulls him out of the corner and makes the tag. Rico Hendricks is in. Rico Hendricks with a swinging neck breaker. He's waiting for him to come up. Oh, he's pulling him up. What's he going to hand with now? Oh, basically a shining wizard style maneuver. He's got him down. One, two, not to the, not enough, not enough. He's got him back in the ropes, talking trash like only Rico Hendricks can do. Oh, reversal. And the big spine buster. Oh my goodness, that, that's all. That should be it right there. There is one, two. Oh, the ref was out of position for that one. Just a two count, yes ref, yes. Rico Hendricks trying to get to the corner, but he can't make, oh, did he make the tag? He did not. The ref did not see it if he did. It looked like he did, it was close. Oh, big dusty elbow to the top of the head for Rico Hendricks. Chris Rollins picks him up. He's gonna go for a bulldog power slam, but TJ Sykes is pulling back. What is happening? Referee needs to get some control. Chase Rollins is in the face of TJ Sykes. Oh, he swung at TJ, but TJ hit him back. Referee had his back turned in. A big spear by Rico. One, two. It's over. Chase Rollins has been eliminated. It is four on three now. Neil O'Neill comes into the ring. He's taking the place. Oh, trading blows. Back and forth. Back and forth. Wheels firing up. He is like, not today, sir. Not today. Vicious strikes. Oh, oh, a vicious forearm to the jaw. Oh, big stinger splash. 
You O'Neill is down, and what what is Rico doing in that corner? Rico took off the turnbuckle pad. Someone needs to get that under control. Oh no, he's gonna hit him under the head. No. Referee needs to get that turnbuckle pad back on that turnbuckle. It is exposed. What is he doing? He doesn't know what to do. I oh, tries to throw his head into the turnbuckle, exposed turnbuckle again, but he is stopped by Yellow O'Neill. Rico with a shot a third time. It's oh, he's still blocked. It. Still blocked. It. Vicious right hand by Rico. Oh, a nice Harlem sidekick right there. Booker T style. He's going for the pin. One, two. Oh, just two. He's in the corner of Neil O'Neill. He's going to want to get, get him out of that corner. Cut off the ring. He's picking him up. What's he going for? A German suplex? Oh, no. Neil O'Neill's fighting it. Reverses it. Neil O'Neill with the reversal. But he can't get him either. Rico fights off. Back around. Oh, vicious back elbow by the EWA Cruiserweight Champion Neil O'Neill. He picks him up. Go for that side suplex, but no. Rico's pounding his head. Oh, he hit the exposed turnbuckle. Oh my goodness. It, it might be the end. Oh, he did it. Superman and oh the drop. It's all over. Eel O'Neill has been eliminated. There is a four on two advantage. That is not good for Sola Sparza and Jacob Jett. Jacob Jett runs in. He is going to stay on him. He needs to, they got to do quick tags. They got to get in and out. The advantage is not with them. Rico Diamante. I'm sorry, Rico Hendricks. Jacob Jett is going to the top rope. Rico is down. What move is he going to hit? But oh no, Rico got out. He tags in the big man Nightmare. That's exactly what they need. Big man Nightmare picks him up. Vicious body slam by Nightmare. My goodness. Saul Esparza might be looking at a 4 on 1 disadvantage if this keeps up. Big man Nightmare. Very young to the game, but very strong. Very up and coming superstar in EWA, that's for sure. He takes the EWA Warehouse Wars champion back into the corner. Vicious shots to the corner. Referee needs to get to him out, get him out of there. What is Joey Abinez doing? He's distracting the referee. What is he doing? He needs a solid sports. He needs to get out of there. This match is losing all types of control. They're choking him in the corner. What? They choke him in the corner. Referee, turn around and look. This is not good for Jacob Jett. He is down. He is in trouble. Nightmare is sizing him up. Oh, Nightmare runs. He misses. Roll out. Oh, but he got hit with a vicious clothesline. There it is. One, two. Oh, not enough. I thought that was it. If he hooked the leg, he might have had him. Gotta get all that body weight on Jacob Jett. If he pushes that body weight down, it's... Even if Jacob Jett kicks out, the force of trying to get that big man off of him will be enough to gas him out, and he might not be able to kick out next time. Oh, he's taunting Saul now. He's taunting him like you can't tag your partner. Uh, Jacob Jett's fighting back. It might be not enough. The big man pushes him away, but he pushes him right into the tag from Saul Esparza. Rookie mistake by Nightmare. Basically gave him the tag. Sol Esparza hitting hard and fast. Jacob Jett immediately tags back in. I thought he'd want to get some more rest. But Sol Esparza hits him with a drop kick in the corner. Jacob Jett with the elbow. They're going at him. Two and one. Jacob Jett is in the ring. He tags back in Sol Esparza. The quick tags is going to be how they win this match if they're going to survive this 4 2 deficit. Spinning tourney. Oh no, Nightmare stopped it. Oh, Saul is in the wrong corner, wrong side of town. Comes around. Nightmare going for the choke, for the rear naked choke. Nightmare's a big man, though. Is he going to be able to get on top of him? Do we have a tap? It's hard to tell from our vantage point. Referee is on it, though. He's right on top of it. He's checking. I don't see a tap yet. But Nightmare is fading. Might not be. Oh, he's turning red. You could see the redness in his face. He might be too proud to tap. 
Wait. Oh, referee called it. Referee called it. Nightmare has been eliminated. It is down to four on three. Or four on two. Three on two, rather. I can't do mathematics in here. TJ Sykes, though, comes in. German. Release German suplex. Saul doesn't, didn't know what hit him. TJ Sykes stalking his prey. Stand on top of Saul Esparza. Going to do another reverse German. Oh no, Saul Esparza sat down on it. Reverses it. Going to, oh, it's a pin. No, it's a side headlock. He's got him in a side headlock. Punches. He's trying to break the hole. Saul Esparza has an amateur background. He knows what to do when the guy has him from behind. Oh, slaps there. He's not going to let him get it. So I suppose it calls a shot, but TJ Sykes is too smart for that. He held the tights to pull him back in. Oh, slaps him from behind. That's a mistake. That just made Saul Esparza mad. Oh, TJ's talking that trash. The only TJ can. Saul saying, bring it. Oh, he may have regretted that one, though. Or maybe not. Saul's eyeing him up. Oh, vicious shot. Oh, another shot back. So I was like, come on. Oh, they're going back and forth. These two warriors are not going to be stopped. Vicious kick. And then it's a great misses. TJ was expecting it. Oh, super kick blocked. Punch ducked. Oh, vicious slap. That's all as far as I end up now. It's going for the Lariat. Oh, but it was a Lariat by TJ Sykes. That should be it. One, two. Oh, was that three? No. Ref says two. Ref says two. That looked like three. Oh, two and nine tenths. Two and two point nine 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 nine. Oh, Saul is hurt though. You can tell he's holding on to the ankle, just begging, trying to buy himself some time, catch his breath, get his bearings. He's not having it. Vicious shot to the back. Going for a vertical suplex. Oh, small package. One, two, not enough, just two. Oh. Oh, he's got him in the same choke. The same choke that put out a nightmare. Will TJ also fall? Oh, he reversed it. He's out of it. Oh. Oh, the octopus submission. There it is. He's, he's got sunken pretty deep. He's slapping. Oh, he's going for the ropes there. Will he be able to get to the ropes? He's reaching out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rico Diamantes. Rico... Hendricks rather is trying to push it towards him. Oh, he's got him back. Oh no, TJ out. Oh, it's all over the top. Back to the choke. He doesn't have it synced in. He needs to get those legs around those hips of TJ. Sykes, that's the only way he's gonna sink him. Oh, there we go, he's squaring him up. If you square up, he's got the hand around the throat. It's a blood choke though, around the blood. Oh, he grabs the referee, he's distracting the referee. Oh, what was that? That was a low blow. Referee. How did the referee miss that? Saul Esparza is begging off, but oh. That, that might be it right there. Saul Esparza looks unconscious. One, two, three. We are, oh, it's a three on one scenario right now. Three on one. What is, Chase Rollins is trying to get in the ring. He was eliminated first. What is he doing in the ring? Talking and trash to TJ. Wait, Jacob Jett gets the pin. One, two, three. Jacob Jett pins TJ Sykes. Jacob Jett is now one against two. TJ Sykes doesn't know what happened. I, I don't know. That should have been his qualification to Chase Rollins in the ring, but I'm not the referee. Vicious forearms. Jacob Jett's backing him in the corner. He's going to have to strike hard and fast if he's going to want to win this match after all he's been through tonight. Oh, got in the corner. Big, big monkey flip right out of the corner. What's Jacob Jett going for now? Going to the top rope. Oh, wait, Derek's trying to get him down, but the referee's saying, hey, do not try that. Don't even think about it. Oh, elbow from the top rope. 
One, two, three. Jacob Judd is pinned. Rico Hendricks. Jacob Judd is, it's one on one now. It's one on one. Jacob Judd, Joey Ibanez, who is going to survive? Joey Ibanez with some backbreakers. Two. Oh, drops him in the corner like a sack of potatoes. And then the stomps to him. Pick him up. Jacob Jed might have suffered too much damage between Nightmare, Rico Hendricks, and TJ Sykes. He's definitely suffered quite a bit during this match. Referee backs him out. He wasn't listening to the count. Sends him in. Oh, a vicious chop to the corner. Sends him into the other opposite corner. Another chop right into it. You're a champ. You're a champ. Trevinus sends it back in. Jacob Jed reverses. Over the top. Let's send him into the crowd. No. No. Oh, a vicious chopper, Jacob. Pulls it on. Oh, vicious kick to the head. Here we go, Jacob Jets going to the top rope. That's how he beat Rico Hendricks. Maybe he's going to try it again, but no, a chop to the chest. Joe Abinez was expecting it. Going, what is he going for now? A suplex. Oh, yes, a delayed vertical suplex. One, two. No, Jacob Jet reverses out of it. Oh, suplex of his own, but he holds on. What is he going for? He's going for something. Oh, there it is. Go tap, he tapped, it's over, it's over. Jacob Jett wins. Jacob Jett is the sole survivor of this match. Jacob Jett, the EWA Warehouse Wars champion has survived. Neil O'Neill comes in to celebrate. Solo Sparzo, Chase Rollins. We have a winner, we have a survivor. Thank you guys, thank you everyone for watching this. Take November 2019. I don't know what 2020 is gonna bring, but I hope it's something awesome.